one trait that I look for in new hires is uh, their enthusiasm, uh, their uh, their hunger to solve things, their hunger to make a different society, uh, their um, uh, their hunger to uh, uh, completely change the organization. You no, know? I think that is what is more important because that is uh, very critical. The integrity part is something which is very difficult to assess, you no, know, when you take. But um, obviously, there's no compromise in the integrity part. So that is something. Uh, which I keep a very strong watch on uh, new joinees. But I think for recruitment, the attitude and that uh, hunger to make a difference to society, to the organization, and uh, to challenge everything, to question everything, to solve problems, I think, and be happy about it. I think that is what is, is for me, the biggest uh, deal clincher when I look for somebody in an interview. Your advice to young employees would be? Uh, be very happy uh, working because if you want to be happy in life and you're not happy working, you cannot be happy because uh, whether you like it or not, but for active uh, youth, you'll be spending in uh, job and your active waking time, you'll be spending working. Now, if you can't find happiness uh, in the job or in the work you do, looking for it outside um, would be uh, something by the time your life would be spent and you would be a very unsatisfied person. So from the very beginning, uh, look for happiness and joy in the work you do and be very happy about it, I think. In your career, you've had lots of successes, but would have also failed in some of your initiatives. What have you learned from those? The failures are, I think we define both success and failures as an ultimate end. It's not just a continuum, no. Uh, what you succeed in after some time becomes what you fail in. And what you fail in uh, turns into success, no? It's a question of how do you continue, uh, no, and have the perseverance on that. So, success and failure is not the worry. Worry is how do you take it? And uh, the naysayers and the critique and the criticism, you know, and uh, the dooms, uh, they, uh, you know, uh, people who, who surround you when you fail. Uh, and how do you take that? And how do you keep your mind clear? And how are you having a very logical thinking to see and take the feedback in just a feedback perspective and you cut the clutter out and then see what has to be done next is what's important. No? So success and failures are, are, are not end goals. They, they are just uh, milestones uh, in the journey that you are no, undertaking. What does a person need to be happy? Nothing. That's why I said in one of my earlier answers. It is an inherent quality. You already, you were born happy, Vikram. You look at your picture when you were a kid. You'll see yourself smiling, you know, most of the time, laughing for no reason. You were born happy. You kill your happiness and you start looking for it. It's so funny. So happiness is inherent in you. You just have to be who you are. What's the best professional advice you've ever got? Uh, it is... I think if I look at it, you know, a lot of times we fluctuate in our mind. Um, we get dissatisfied with the job. Uh, we feel that you no know, things are not going the way it has to go. So I think uh, an advice which I got from my father was that one has to be very consistent. You know, things will be good, things will be bad. Uh, if you are trying to solve an issue, if you're trying to make a difference, and if you're having a free hand to do so, uh, keep on doing it. You know, and things turn again. And so if I look at it, I have not, uh, like if I look at my entire career, I only did uh, jobs in two companies. You know, my first company was New India Insurance Company, and second is Berlin General Insurance Company. Ten years there, close to 19, over 19 years here. You know, so. uh, and I don't think I had a bad career. You, know? uh, you picked up the industry well, could make a difference to the industry. And one of the reasons was this, that this advice helped me remain very grounded, uh, rooted uh, to the cause that I was there. So sometimes it is contrary to a lot of what uh, people think, but uh, I think uh, to me it made a huge difference. And the worst advice? Worst advice was somebody who told me very early on. It's a very interesting story. So I, 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 I still am, I would think, you no, know, in um, hopeless in trying to flatter uh, people uh, or being um, ungenuine about what I say. So early on, I used to see that my friends who were pretty good in uh, flattering uh, people, uh, higher ups, you know, in the organization, I thought they were having a better time than I was because I was slogging it off on the desk and I was very clear and direct in my uh, communication. 
So one day one of my friends told me, this is not working uh, Tapan, you have to learn the art of uh, flattery, even ingenuine uh, comments is fine. I took it very seriously, it was a very close friend of mine, I did try to make a uh, attempt on that and uh, it was so disgusting to me, I gave it up very early and <laughs> I realized that you have to be true to yourself, you be who you are and what you are, no? That I think is very, very critical. So.